We go through a upper, middle, and lower back rollout routine, starting with the upper back. We're gonna take the roller, position it in the upper back, up by the shoulder blades, hug the arms across the body, and just work along the spine, letting the roller dig into the muscles of the upper back and scaps. From there, I'm gonna work more into the middle T-spine. From this position, I got the roller pinned on the back, and now I'm gonna work some motions where I'm arching and opening, and then rounding, using the roller as a pivot point. Stretching it back over the top, rounding, and using that pivot point. After I complete it on the middle back, I'm gonna work down into the lower back, from the low back position, I'll start off by rolling it out. After rolling out, bring the knees up towards the top and kind of shift the focus from side to side or edge to edge. So now I'm working a little bit more lateral into those lower back muscles. To complete it, I'm gonna reset back to the ground bring one knee up and work kind of a slow march, tapping the heel on the ground. Now again, creating some movement, shifting and changing the pressure into the low back. I'm going to work a core and hip alignment into our glute bridge. So I'm gonna set up in the glute bridge position, but I'm gonna position the roller in between the hips. Now, in this order, I'm going to work to contract the abs, fire the low back into the ground, squeeze the groin, and then bridge, lock the glutes, control it back down to the bottom, relax and reset. Core, hips, glutes, Control, relax and reset. Core, hips, glutes. Control, relax and reset. For the cat-cow exercise, I'm gonna start from the all four position, making sure that my hands are supported under the shoulder. My knees are supported underneath the hips. Here, I'm going to round out the spine, tuck the chin down to the chest, and then arch it back, tipping the head up. Very important that as I move, I control my breathing. Breathing in, breathing out, and then my head Moves in alignment with my spine. I'm going to demonstrate two core mobility, even stability based exercises. So we're going to set up for the dead bug first on the back, 90 degrees, toes up, arms are up straight. The most important part of this exercise is that the low back is flexed tight to the ground. From here, I'm going to reach, opposite arm, opposite leg, pause it, stabilize, control it, and bring it back up to the top. Same thing, reach, opposite arm, opposite leg, pause, control, stable, resetting, back to the start. The other exercise, that pairs well with this or accomplishes similar goals is I'm working back from the all four quadruped position. Core is locked in tight and I am now reaching opposite arm, opposite leg from this kneeling Superman position. Reset back to here, core is locked in tight. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Pause and control at the top. Reset back to the starting position. The ground T-spine series is gonna consist of three exercises. To start for the first one, I'm gonna actually hook 
the bottom leg underneath my hip to help pin the knee to the ground. Arms are straight across the body and I'm trying to open up, keeping the knee down as best I can, all the way till the hand reaches the ground. Bring it back to the start. Exercise two, I unhook it. Now I'm set from this position. I'm gonna hold the knee down and I'm gonna reach in more of a wide direction. Stretching it over the top. Again, this one is stretching back more in a Y direction, diagonal with the arm. For the final variation, I'm going to straight the leg all the way out. Hands start together. This is a windmill. I'm going to drag my fingertips across the turf, open it all the way across through the chest and the shoulder, bring it back, fingertips on the turf to the start position. For three-way plank variations, it's pretty simple. We're gonna start off with the regular plank stacked straight ahead. So elbows are under the shoulders, fours locked in tight, squeeze the glutes, actively lock in and squeeze the abs, and I'm holding this position. Once I complete the plank to the front, I would rotate over to the side, again, squeezing the glutes, so my body is in a straight line all the way up from the ankle to the shoulder, holding this position on the side. We work a band Pavlov press iso rotation. So once I press it, I'm going to hold in the position. So I'm set up right from here. I've pulled the band into my chest to start, but then I'm going to press out and hold the tension through the core, fighting to keep it down the middle for the duration of the set. Good. For our Superman series, we're gonna go through several different variations of the Superman exercise. Starting from here with the toes pulled up, I'm going to reach opposite arm, opposite leg, pause, control, reset. Opposite arm, opposite leg, Pause, control, reset. Into the double Superman, both arms, both legs, reach up, control, reset. And then finishing, what we call Superman jumping jack, so I'm up into the Superman, open, close, and down. One more time, Superman up, open, close, down. This is a child's pose stretch, but we're going to do it with band assistance. So I'm going to step into the band, work the band around the hips, walk it out into tension, relax my feet, and then let the band help me sit back into that deep stretch through the low back. From this position, I could also work to the side and stretch into the lats on either side, or sit to the side to work a little bit more lateral into the stretch, depending on the hip that I'm sitting to. If I wanna work more into a groin stretch, I can perform the same exercise, open the hips, stretch into the low back, but now with the hips open, it becomes more of a hip and groin stretch.